A confrontation at New York's JFK International Airport caught on camera Saturday by Reuters correspondent. Two Democratic members of Congress, Gerald Nadler and Nidia Velasquez, attempting to gain access to two Iraqis detained by Customs and Border Patrol. The Iraqis held up following an executive order signed by Donald Trump banning entry to the U.S. by passport holders from seven predominantly Muslim countries. Congressman, Congressman, what's happening right now? I'm Jonathan Allen from Reuters. We're asking Congresswoman Velasquez and I uh, are asking for access to the head of uh, the Customs and Bureau, uh, the Customs and border protection. border protection here, to find out why these refugees are being, number one, why they're being detained, number two, why they're being denied access to their attorneys. These are two members of Congress. We don't intend to block them, we're simply waiting. We're going to see the head of the border the legislators are accompanied by lawyers from the International Refugee Assistance Program who have filed a legal challenge to Donald Trump's executive order. They claim their clients who have ties to the U.S. military and were granted U.S. visas are being unlawfully detained. One worked as an interpreter during the American War on Iraq. The second held a visa so that he could be reunited with his son and wife already granted refugee status in the U.S. Trump's order bans Iraqis and citizens of six other Middle Eastern and African nations from traveling to the U.S. The video ends when a Customs and Border Patrol agent orders the correspondent to stop recording. Sorry, but, sir, sir, I don't care if you videotape this way or that way. You cannot videotape that way. A short while after that, the Reuters correspondent saw one of the two refugees being let in.